All right, guys, welcome back at Automotive PSUs. Today we have something a bit different here, but something that I really wanted to test out and so I'm very happy to bring on the channel. What we have here is a portable gaming monitor. This one right there from UPerfect. Now, what are the specs for this monitor and why is it so special? Well, first of all, this one works both with desktop PCs and laptop PCs. It has a double connectivity. It comes in with his own USB charger, but it can also be plugged directly into the PC for charging and it gets the output via either HDMI or USB-C. Now, this one I have in here, it should be the model K03 and it is their 17.3 inch 2560 by 1440p display. So it's basically a 1440p 60 Hertz gaming monitor, but they also make uh, 144 Hertz in case you're gaming competitively and they make an OLED model in case you need the maximum color accuracy and they also make a touchscreen one they have everything I will leave the link to their store down below but now today we will talk about this one specifically and why I think it's honestly a great buy I will say it off the, right off the bat personally I would recommend the 1080p panel as I think for this kind of uh, screen dimensions 1080p is fine. This one is fantastic, but it's really overkill. Uh, I think a 1080p one is cheaper while getting the same experience for gaming. I recommend a 1440p panel just if you're gonna be a content creator uh, or if your main monitor has a resolution of 2560 by 1440 and you wanna have um, the same kind of quality. Now, what can you do with this thing? Well, you can game on it. We tested it with a gaming PC and you can use it as a travel monitor. So you can actually close um, the monitor itself and you can bring it around very easily so the idea is you build a very small mini ITX PC like the ones I've built on the channel in the past and then you bring this one and the PC like in a hotel room or if you go on a trip and it's the best portable gaming setup ever it destroys a laptop really like there is no comparison it's much better you can either game on it with a controller like I did it's very easy uh, but you can also set up a proper mouse and keyboard and have basically a laptop experience, uh, but without having to have the keyboard attached and all the problems. And of course, while having a much more powerful uh, desktop for cheap, because again, this one, this one specifically is gonna set you back around 240 to 230 uh, euros and dollars, depending again on the period in which you buy it. Uh, but the 1080p one is cheaper and so for that cheap, you can actually get basically a whole PC. So it's good, uh, even compared to the price of most monitors on the market, um, it's pretty well priced. So basically I used it to play Apex Legends and I had a very nice game. Not sure I pretty much died recently, but it wasn't because of the monitor. The monitor was actually uh, really good and the experience playing it was actually really smooth. I didn't even uh, use the actual uh, headphones. I used the integrated speakers and they are pretty loud. You can hear pretty well uh, sounds if you don't want to hear of course where the enemies are in that case you always need headphones but it does work really well for gaming let's talk a little bit about the actual gaming performance now this one has pretty much no difference in input lag compared to a regular monitor so it's really nice the color accuracy is really nice and it actually has integrated speakers so you can actually use it uh, again as a complete desktop pc you, you don't even need the headphones if you're not gonna uh, play competitively, so it's really nice. So that is one option to use it But the other option is let's say you have a laptop and you work on it right now for productivity Most people have two displays. I have two because I do um, again video editing for you guys now I do it less nowadays um, Pretty much nothing actually thanks to my editor But I also do graphic work and I need to multitask in both monitor so I honestly couldn't live with a single monitor and with this one you can actually have a double monitor laptop setup that you can actually bring around. So it's really useful uh, if you like to change your setup, maybe work outside sometime, you just bring it over, connect the USB to the laptop, the laptop will charge the monitor and it's gonna be perfect for that. So of course you can set it to both mirror your screen or to extend your screen. So you can either have basically this one replicate what your main monitor is doing 
or you can also have it to extend your screen and so have like a different tab so you can have like something else to look at maybe down here so as you can see i can be like looking down on some documents and then looking up to what i'm actually writing which is really useful actually i've been using it for these past few days so what's really interesting is that they sell it to you with a thing that acts both as a cover and a stand because you can move this thing around in various different places and actually have it vertical and really you can use it like one of those iPad covers, if you know what I'm talking about, to just change the angle at which the monitor is facing at you. So you, you don't have to use it just flat or to necessarily buy a mount. You can just use this one, uh, which really adds the portability of it. So the last use case is you, you can actually connect this uh, to your phone and extend your phone or tablet screen. Uh, but you do need an Android. Uh, it should be compatible with uh, iOS 2, but honestly, I haven't gone quite in depth into it. Uh, but you can definitely do it and it works pretty well if you want to show uh, something to somebody a bit bigger or maybe if you're working on Instagram Reels or Shorts here on YouTube and you want to uh, edit them on your phone but a bit bigger, especially if you get a touch model, I think it can be really, really helpful. So an another little thing that I discovered is that you can actually charge your phone <laughs> on this monitor. If you just plug it on the USB-C on the side, the spare one, you can charge your phone so that's useful too. Um, it acts like a little USB hub and it also has a, an integrated jack um, output so you can actually plug your headphones straight in here in case uh, your PC doesn't have it so it will actually act as an adapter in that way too which is really helpful. So this is pretty much it about the monitor. Um, again, great portable gaming monitor to bring around, great for laptops, you can use it for your phones. Uh, as well and it's also just really nice to add to your setup like I have it here um, where you can actually just play a video here or have something you look at very frequently like if you want to study you can have like a book so I definitely recommend it I think the 1080p one especially is coming at a very good price and also the 144hz one really there, are, there aren't many competitors to you perfect at all so I can recommend it um, and also again the image quality is really nice, which is why personally I think uh, 1080p one is enough. But this one for professionals is great as well. But do let me know, have you ever tried a portable monitor? What do you think about them? Would you consider buying one? What would you like to see improved? And do let me know if you want me to check out similar products in the future. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.